Hi, in this short video we will discuss the concept of foregrounding and how phonological, morphological and syntactical features are associated with foregrounding. But before that, let me ask you one simple question. What is the opposite of foreground? Yes, background. And what is the dictionary meaning of the word foreground? The denotative meaning informs us that foreground is the position of prominence. So foregrounding will be a process of making something in the position of prominence. Mukarovsky employed this concept to literature and made it a technique within literary device. Mukarovsky posits that literature is a process of strange making. So what is this strange making process? Consider this example. Instead of saying, where are you lost? If you say, why are you looking like an envelope without address? This is foregrounding. And authors create defamiliarization in Slovakian sense and dislocation by employing phonological, morphological and syntactic features. We will discuss foregrounding in the latter part of this video. But before that, let me ask you a couple of questions. Have you ever watched fashion TV? What is your experience? You might have found certain dresses bizarre and would have been wondering who will wear them. The bizarre dresses are also an example of foregrounding, falls under the grammar of fashion. Let me give you another example. Imagine you are in love with a person. So what metaphors or similes you will use? You might compare your love with rose, moon, life, prince, princess, so on and so forth. But what Shakespeare did when he wrote, shall I compare thee to a summer's day? Yes, comparing his love to a summer's day. Obviously, not an Indian summer. And what Marvel did when he wrote, My vegetable love should grow. You might have heard of romantic love, sexual love, intense love. But what is vegetable love? Shakespeare and Marvel had employed the literary technique known as foregrounding. M.A.K. Halliday writes, that foregrounding is a phenomenon of linguistic highlighting. Leach and Short define foregrounding as artistically motivated deviation. Now, we will look at foregrounding in a poem titled In Just by E. E. Cummings. The poem goes like this. In just spring, when the world is mud, luscious, the little lame balloon man whistles far and we and Eddie and Bill come running from marbles and piracies and it is spring. So what is happening here? Spring has sprung. Everything is growing and all around delightful. The kids, Eddie and Bill, jump for joy when the men selling balloons start to whistle. The kiddies forget their game and come running to him. This poem is a good example of foregrounding and we will find out it at phonological, morphological and syntactic levels. At phonological level, we find alliteration. Mud luscious the little lame balloon man. The lateral consonant la is repeated many times. At lexical level, many new words are coined. By the way, coining new words is known as neologism. Mud luscious. Food can be luscious but not mud. Balloon man without space. We an extra e. And Eddie and Bill. Eddie and Bill without space. Three words have become one. At morphological level, Eddie is a nickname for Edward and Bill is a nickname for William. 
You already know William Clinton as Bill Clinton. Eddie is not only a nickname but also an example of diminutive. Just as cat become kitty and John become Johnny. At syntactic level, the entire poem is one big sentence. And how often have you seen a title of a poem in brackets with a broken punctuation? So this poem with the help of foregrounding creates a textual complexity for the readers. We will discuss other such concepts in the next video. Thank you for watching.